Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners and lots and lots of other DIY projects, start now and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Here we go. So, a little earlier I was using this burner. Okay, this is an updraft burner. It gets all the air for combustion through this tube. This is just a dog food tin. Proof of concept. You can change that dog food tin for pipe or anything you like. You can change this for steel. This was just to see if it would work. You can knock this up in five or 10 minutes, check it out. If it works, then proceed and make it out of steel. That was my plan anyway, and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see inside it, this has been in use. It's got a row of holes, 13 mil holes. It's got a dog food tin in the middle, and it comes up to there. So you can kind of gauge sizes of what you see. The row of holes in the bottom there was, I was gonna try something else that I didn't end up doing because the, the top row was successful. Okay, that's it. So I showed how to make this in a previous video. The one I want to make today now is called a smudge pot. The lads have reliably informed me. Okay, I hadn't seen them done before, but um, I happened on this myself. So here we go, we've another sweet tin, you know, uh, candy tin. And it's got a row of holes all the way around. Okay, they're about an inch, you know, three quarters of an inch to an inch in diameter. It doesn't really matter. Now I did one of these videos the other night where I fired this up and it worked great, okay? But I didn't have an, a drip feed oil system. I just put some oil in the pot, lit it, and off it went. And you could see it, boom, 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 boom. You know, a bit like a, you know, a jet engine or a pulse engine. But anyway, um, we can control the oil feed in now. So I haven't lit this with this system yet. I'm expecting to be able to control it. Here we go. So, I'm gonna open the oil feed. Here we go, it's on now, but it has to travel down this pipe. So you can see it. That's probably a bit heavy. Let's turn it down a bit. Okay, it goes down this pipe. And you can see it in the bottom of the pot. Okay, so this guy is just as a wind protector. I don't have one of those um, dead cat sock things, whatever they're called. So <laughs> the mic is in, into the rear end of this poor little hedgehog. Okay, here we go. Now we've already got some vegetable oil. This is vegetable oil, it's black because the container was black. But this is what I'm burning in it, veggie oil, okay? Now we need kerosene to get this to start because if I put the blowtorch on the vegetable oil, not much will happen. Okay, so there's some kerosene in there to get it moving. Okay, I'm gonna light that. Okay, there it goes. We're gonna put this on it fairly quick so we don't kill the camera. Okay, we're gonna get the flu on that now. Now what we have happening here is we have holes there, air coming in from the holes. And I can see what's going on here. This is the reason for a hole in the tea piece, is so I can see the flow of oil into it. There you go. That's it. Biscuit tin, car brake disc, and a flu. Three items. My other system has four items. This works great. Now, because of the system, it's very quick for me to change over from this type to this type. You know, two different burners. This one gets the air up to the bottom. This one gets the air into the holes. Okay, essentially the same sort of thing. In prototype mode, it's a lot easier to keep the oil in this one because it's got a proper, you know, base. This one has a hole in the base. Very hard, you know, if it's not welded, to keep the oil in. This one works great. I find this one works a bit better. This one still works great though. So there you have it. It's about 11 or 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, very hard to get an accurate reading off the stainless. It doesn't seem to do it that good. But we're, we're over 1,000 degrees on it anyway, Fahrenheit. Down here in the biscuit tin, 916. The plate, about 819. This is Fahrenheit now. And the shiny stuff doesn't read properly. Okay, so there you go. Very simple thing to make. Three part item, you know, biscuit tin, car brake disc, and you know, a lump of flu. And look at it, we have it red hot. Okay, so I have the oil switched off now at the moment. I don't want to compromise the plastic two liter container. Um, but there you go, look, savage heat, I can feel it from here. So I have it wound down now at the moment. And what I want to do is I want to try the other burner after this. Okay, so the channel just kind of grew by a big lump. It's something spiked. And one of my old videos from about seven months ago, 
Um, picked up a couple of hundred thousand views in two days. Savage, I've never seen the like of it before. But uh, anyway, thanks very much. And if anybody's watching this, you know, uh, having seen the first video, I apologize for the audio. Uh, it was back in the days and I hadn't got um, a decent um, microphone set up. Okay, that's it. You can see this cooling down behind me, but there's still savage heat out of it. Um, I'm going to end it now. So if you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe down here. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.